Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord rises upon you. Isaiah 60, verse 1. The commencement of a gathering today is marked by a cherished tradition, the lighting of the lamp. This ritual, steeped in profound symbolism, represents our ascent from ignorance to knowledge from confusion to clarity, inviting the illuminating wisdom into our midst. So with this, we are profusely elated to invite worthy of reverence, Reverend Mother Grace Terrace, Mother General, and Reverend Mother Pavetra, Provincial Superior, to kindle the flame of enlightenment. As the lamp is lit, may its radiance touch each one of us, kindling in us the immortal flame of knowledge and understanding. The crystal clear glass here is an emblem of reverence, and the candle is the light of God, which reflects in the world around us, dispelling darkness and radiating Almighty's divine grace to one and all. Now with this, may I now request our admirable and august dignitaries to do the honors. May I now call upon our very dedicated and distinguished Reverend Sister Prasanna, Wicker General, along with our very diligent and committed Reverend Dr. Sister Noel, Wicker Provincial. I now would like to request the Lady of Intellect and a pious soul to the mankind, Reverend Dr. Sister Annie Thomas, Counselor of Medical Department, where we have commenced Reverend Sister Rosie, Counselor of Social Work. Proceeding further, very humbly, I like to request a counselor of mass media and faith formation. Sister Navya Maria, Reverend Sister Shalom, whose multi personality is all our strength vibrant wherever we go. In the array of our dignified guests, um, I would like to request a very compassionate and committed Reverend Sister Rose Maria, Counselor of Finance, and a very benevolent and impeccable Reverend Sister Anupa. Moving further, I now would like to request the captain of our Antidemonship and the pillar of our strength, Reverend Sister Arsena, to light the Holy Lamb. Our sincere gratitude to our exemplary and admirable dignitaries for setting the tone and energy for the rest of the day. As the lamp continues to burn brightly, let it serve as a constant reminder of our individual and collective commitment to acquire and share knowledge and to illuminate the paths of those we interact with. A very elated greetings to the gracious glory of the special day that has set this beautiful moment. Deep down the lane of love, the journey of resplendent grace begins. The moment to cherish 
the moment to build courage. The dream that dares to climb up the witch's cliffs of care. Entering the doorway through my heart, following the nuance of space, allowing the expansion of bliss and pace to guide me into the realms of spiritual awakening. Journeying through moments, I feel really proud and privileged standing at the desk to speak these melodious moments of grace. What else can give us happiness than this beautiful juncture with your benign, gracious presence and us? Under the res resplendent canopy of the jubilant sky, adorned with the hues of the season's most vibrant blossoms, we gather with hearts filled with reverence and admiration as we extend our most gracious welcome to luminous presence of Superior General Honorable Mother Grace Therese, Provincial Superior Mother Pavitra, and our congregation counselors gracing us with their others' aura. Their arrival here is as fragrant as the forest of Siddhar in Lebanon. I am deeply honored to welcome the personages who have added the glory to the day by your gracious presence and its I accord a warm welcome to the most reverend Mother Jennifer, Grace Therese, whose beatitude is well recognized by her serene, austere administration of leadership mitigation. Her presence sprinkles the dew of visual resilience to build the canopy of beautification. The presence of passion within is a treat of miracles. We are humble under the hymn of harmony that walks around today with your gracious presence. Welcome, Mother. Discipline is a creation of boundaries that keep time and space open for God. Solitude requires discipline. Worship requires discipline. Caring for others requires discipline. They all ask us to set apart a time and a place where God's divine presence is sensed with the benevolent presence of our dignitaries. I welcome the most venerable Vicar Prev General, Sister Prasenna. We feel blessed in the blissful guest of melody with your presence. I sense a rhythm of devotional music that causes the tinnitus to feel great with your auspicious presence. I am elated to welcome the Counselor for Finance, Sister Rose Maria amidst us. It is so rejuvenating to wear the splendid sail of illuminated grandeur, the extravaganza in the thought lavishly splashes past with the glorious presence of great personalities to you. We are honored to have in our midst Dr. Sister Anne Thomas, Counselor for Medical Department, whose presence embodies not only knowledge and wisdom, but also a deep commitment to the well-being of our community. In an age where the pursuit to knowledge is relentlessly intertwined with a growing awareness of our physical and mental health, the role of Dr. Sister Annie Thomas is more crucial than ever. It is the skill that demands a blend of compassion, expertise and a profound understanding of the human conditions. In an era where media and information are paramount in shaping our perceptions and beliefs, the ability to navigate the complexities of media both in its content and its influence, requires a delicate balance of indiscriminate critical thinking and a profound understanding of the role media plays in our lives. Today, we have the privilege of hosting Sister Navya Maria, Counselor of Medical and Faith Formation, whose proficiency in this field is matched only by her dedication, to guide others in navigating the intricate landscape of media and communication. Today, we gather with a profound sense of reverence 
and anticipation to extend a most sincere welcome to the distinguished guest, Sister Anupa, Counselor for Education in our world. His presence epitomizes not only profound wisdom, but also an unwavering commitment to nurturing the intellectual growth of our community. Her presence here at Mount Carmel School underscores our enduring commitment to fostering intellectual growth and all-round development of personality to make a person a good human being. Haraga's presence today rekindles fond memories and nostalgic moments she spent here at Mount Carmel School in yesteryears. The desert fire had the zest of solemn sharing. The dawn turns into the dew of devotion, the devotion to sunshine, sunshine to bring brightness. This moment is a blessing, definitely, when we are in the compassionate convergence today. It's a courtesy and a gesture of genius gentility. The presence of the major superiors and the provincial superiors and the councillors to add on to the solidarity of this solemn summit. We are blessed to have with us our Reverend Provincial Superior, Mother Pavitra, whose grace greatly inspires us. I take this opportunity to welcome beloved Mother and Mistress. We are made for goodness, we are made for love, we are made for friendliness, we are made for togetherness. We are made for all the beautiful people who are humble. We welcome you, dear sisters. If the sign of your heart says welcome, the love will come pouring in from everywhere. When individuals and communities are denied the resources and opportunity we need to live as human beings, it moves them to the core of their being when and where people are oppressed or are overwhelmed with a sense of powerlessness. To heal and make whole is the way of being in the world. In every day and in every way, their call is to heal and be healed. And today, we are honored to have amongst us Sister Rose, Counselor for Medical Department, in her we find not just a repository of knowledge, but a beacon of hope and support. We are also honored to have with us Sister Shalom, Counselor for Media and Faith Formation. In her we find not only a reservoir of knowledge, but also a guiding light, helping us to make informed choices in our media, consumption, interpretation and production. As we celebrate the Silver Jubilee of Mount Carmel School this year, we do so with the warm, embracing presence of Superior General Mother Grace Therese, Provincial Superior Mother Pavitra, and other dignitaries, which radiates a sense of tranquility, wisdom, humility, and efficiency. Their wisdom, leadership, and nurturing spirit has been the rich soil upon which our educational garden at Mount Carmel School has thrived, bearing the fruits of knowledge and character. Thank you and welcome for your presence as it exuberates to our celebration, sprinkling with grandeur and significance. Every flower is a soul blooming in nature. The smallest flower is a thought, a life answering to some feature of the great whole, of whom they have persistent intuition. It's time to enjoy the flowers in full bloom, like the smiles in the noble hearts of people. I extend a warm welcome to all the dignitaries. It's definitely a compassionate convergence. I request our Reverend Provincial Superior, Mother Pavitra, to present this lovely bouquet of florets to Reverend Mother General, Sister Grace I request Mother Pavitra to present the bouquet of triumph to Vicar General, Sister Grace I request Mr. Shalom and our principal, Sister Archana, to present 
the bookie, the sister Rosie, Duke, the counselor of medical stories, sister Annie Thomas. I request our counselor of Mount Carmel Province, sister Rose, to present this bookie of silver shine to counselor of faith formation and media, sister Navya Maria. I request respected provincial superior, Mother Pavitra, to present this book of devotion to Councillor for Education, Sister Anupa. We are immensely delighted to have the gracious presence of the great noble personalities to bestow upon us the choicest blessings. We are truly honored to have the Council of Mount Carmel Province to add more grace by their glorious presence. We welcome you. I request our beloved principal, Sister Archana, to present this bouquet of flowers as a token of our love to our provincial superior, Reverend Mother Parusha. We welcome our counselor for media and face formation, Sister Shavan, with a bright class of four and seat. Our principal discussion of presenting to the first We accord a warm welcome to Sister Rosie, counselor for medical healing and social work, presenting this book of prayer to Sister Rosie by our principal sister. I once again welcome all the dignitaries on behalf of Mount Carmel School. Let us all welcome them with a huge round of applause. Yet another etching and an exhilarating moment is here. Presenting to you the motto of our Silver Jubilee Year, RISE, which is an acronym and a testimony to radiate, innovate, strive and excel. R stands for radiate. Radiate fortitude and virtuosity. I for innovate. Soar higher, up with swanky innovations. S for striving. Strive to emulate eternal values for life on a ceaseless pursuit to empathize and be situation. E for excel, excelling in diverse dimensions of talents, amassing wealth of competency, proficiency, and phenomenal merit. I take this opportunity to invite our Honorable Mother Grace, General Grace Therese, along with Provincial Superior Mother Pavitra, Vicar General, Sister Prasanna, and Vicar Provincial, Dr. Sister Noya, Dr. Sister Annie Thomas, Counselor of Medical, and Sister Rosie, Sister Navya Maria, and Sister Shelley, Counselor of Media and Faith Formation, Sister Rose Maria, Counselor of Finance, and Sister Anupa, Counselor of Education to the center edge of the stage for the ceremonial releasing of the balloons. I request the dignitaries to come to the center edge of the stage. These balloons become the messengers to the earth, the skies, the heavens and the horizons. Let the world resonate with the enthralling message and unravel the glory of Mount Carmel to eternity. I exhort the universe and the very element to be the testimonial to the Mount Carmel's glory and charisma across the skies. We feel highly indebted to our Mother General and the Honorable Dignitaries for this solemn gesture, your benevolent blessings and grace with us and your benign presence. Thank you. The visionary guidance emerged in the love and care that we find in the rich ambience of the Mount Carmel schools. 
being nurtured with the embrace of a highly competent school management and the fire sisters, we are blessed and empowered each day with this rich source of energy. The novelty and diligence, the passion to have a vision is implanted in us by your visionary guidance. A Carmelite cannot be but certain virtues, inevitably shaping us into actionary and visionaries. We do not dream, instead we dream big. With a mission to empower us with holistic development, the school marches ceaselessly towards the lofty dimensions, chiseling out sagacious and the rising schemes in their area. We are profoundly thankful to the Mount Carmel School and the whole school management for their efforts. We have a vision for a glorious nation and a society. We are groomed to chase our dreams and become the stalwart of the society and I'm sure it will come true. Thank you. Mount Carmel School shines with the Rahadan tone with the presence of iconic personages amidst us on this beautiful day, making us feel proud. This edifice of learning makes us immune, taking us to an array of shining streaks of light, a light of hope, and a delicacy of dawning dreams of true virtue. The magnanimous minds with the optimistic aura, making us energized in the implementation of accelerating enunciation. Embracing the worthy words of Prophet is here. Our school has been preparing us with the earnest endeavors to meet with the requisite of charismatic cognizance. The robust rendition impressed in the right amount of integrity in the initiation, passion, and the perseverance in the countenance. The virtue of discipline in acquiring the best phenomenons is carried forward in bountiful to carry forward the tradition. The tradition of knowing oneself by silence and engraving the virtues of mutual help and understanding. In a room where people choose to maintain the conspiracy of silence, one word of truth sounds like a pistol shot. The fragrance of these virtues spills the scent of anonymity and fraternity. We, the student representatives, stand here, ever willing to be enriched by the diction of orderly and devoted decorum. The silver sparkles sprinkle the twinkling silver blaze this year when we are celebrating our silver jubilee. We hereby seek the blessings of all our dear sisters on this significant day and this indelibly auspicious year of our silver jubilee. So
Let's pretend to strike this goddess to sing this saga of this legendary journey. Of completion of 25 years of devotion in the field of wisdom and knowledge. Hail Mount Carmel, your bright shine. Presenting before you the Jubilee Anthem of Mount Carmel Zoo. <coughs>
the Jubilee Anthem indeed made us all reminiscize the 25 glorious years of Mount Carmel School. Wise people waved the horn of their flag to flow with the gust of birth. Every expression has a hue of inspiration and the incredible impact of this impression to the wise words reverberates around with the above and the essence of elegance. I most respectfully invite our beloved principal, Sister Anjana, to add more fervor to this occasion with a word of gratification. The angelic and divine presence of our major superiors here on the stage make a glorious grandeur a gala of jubilation. Respected Superior Generals, Mother Grace Therese, Respected Sister Prasanna, our Vicar General, Respected Sister Anna Thomas, General Counselor for Healing Ministry, Respected Sister Navya Maria, General Counselor for Mass Media and Faith Formation, Respected Sister Anna our General Counselor for Education, Respected Provincial Provincial Superior, Mother Pavitra, Respected Sister Rossi, Provincial Counselor for Social Work, Sister Reverend Sister Rose Chandu, Provincial Counselor for Media and Faith Formation, my beloved teachers and students. The world has enough beautiful mountains and meadows, spectacular skies and serene lakes. It has enough forest, lush forest, flowered fields and sandy beaches. It has plenty of stars and the promise of a new sunrise and sunset every day. But what we have embraced today is a rare resplendence of the bliss that one can hold in life as we were surrounded with the glorious galaxy of our major superiors and their council. It's indeed a splendid occasion for the Mount Carmelites to behold such gracious crew of our congregation along with the benign squad of our province. This occasion has engraved an exceptionally impactful anthem in the gala of Silver Jubilee. Words would fail me to express how grateful we are to have such an amazing leaders to bless us in this jubilant year. I understand that to live gratitude is to touch heaven as gratitude is the inward feeling of kindness received. And thankfulness is the natural impulse to express that feeling. Respected Mother General, we are immensely honored with the kind and generous concern you extended to visit and bless us with your words of wisdom. Being blessed with a leader who is highly visionary and blessed with excellent leadership skill is huge blessing. Dear Mother, you are truly selfless, passionate, and highly diligent. And your life is an epitome of excellence. Thank you for being such a great leader. The way you led and lead our congregation is admirable. Constantly, it inspires us to do great work. You lead us with humility and are a true inspiration. Thank you, Mother, for your outstanding leadership and for blessing us. As we express our gratitude, Amavya, the highest appreciation is not to utter words, but to live by them. We assure you that. Mother, once again, we thank you. General, your life is a blessing to many, and your gracious presence and impact um, adds meaning to life and brings people to light. 
Thank you for being a great leader. By your leadership, we find our purpose and fulfill our mission. Thank you, sister. Dear Secretary of the Teacher and Thomas, General Counselor for Healing Ministry, we are so obliged to you for your gracious presence and for being a blessing to us. Thank you for being interested in our growth and development. The Secretary of Nabia, our General Counselor for Mass Media and Health Formation, we are so honored to have you in our mission and you have extended grace and positive energy to us with your eminent presence. Mr. Krishna you are a woman of integrity, discipline, and excellence. Your leadership is more than an act, it's a ministry. You are a long legend for this institution as you have an immense contribution to the growth of this institution. You have touched our lives and thank you for being a great and visionary leader. I'm deeply indebted to our beloved mother, Mother Pramusha, Mother Pramitra, for the great support that you have always extend to us. Dear Mother, your impact on the development of this prestigious institution is so immense. We are grateful to you for your individual contribution and for all effort and support. I wonder how you are intentionally about raising leaders after you. We celebrate our success today because we had a selfless, understanding and highly principled team, team leader, who made winning easy for us. Thank you, Mother. The Secretary Rosie, the Councillor for Social Work and Healing Ministry, we see your tremendous efforts and, ap and appreciate your commitment to our group. I want to sincerely appreciate your leadership and support for this for the success of this institution. Reverend Sister Shadow, Councillor for Media and Pay Formation, thank you for your commitment. I deeply appreciate you for you have always put your best into all our tasks and ensure the success of all our endeavors. Thank you for your exceptional performance. Once again, let me extend a word of thanks and appreciation to all my beloved teachers and students for making our stage so graceful and meaningful in this jubilee occasion. And welcoming our Mother General and the Council, Provincial Superior and the Council. It was a, a great uh, and meaningful expression of your love and honor. So once again, let me thank each one of you and to me. Thank you. Thank you. 